There in the distance is Capri, that's where we were going today, but the forecast is not great, as you can see by the clouds. However, we will be doing the Amalfi Coast, and that is Sorrento. We're heading now for what would be Positano, which in my opinion is the start of the Amalfi Coast. It's not raining at the moment. The sea looks gorgeous and the roads look dangerous. We've uh, just wound our way down through these streets. Uh, we're in Positano now which is a little town on the cliffs. Going to check the place out, have a look around. This is a, a look down onto the beach at Positano. And I don't know if you can see, but the uh, dome on the church looks quite ornate. I'll see if I can zoom in. The town on the hill. Really nice, picturesque little streets to walk through. Not very busy today, Christmas Eve. Church has this strange scene. The angels up in heaven. After Jesus and Mary. men and shepherds, I think. That's looking up at Positano from the beach, the church that we've just been in. Time to show you the waves, the water is it's clean enough to drink. On the road down into Positana or Positano is this. So you follow the road down, round the bend, and on the bend is this.
complete with nativity scene. Okay, this is a short drive. This is through Positano. You can see why motorhomes are bad or aren't allowed down here. The uh, postman on the right. some form of a well it's not a traffic jam but in Italy everybody parks wherever they like I think they think if they just put their um, hazard warning lights on they can stick the car or the vehicle anywhere they want bus navigates these streets I'll never know but this is the main road through Positano Police, municipal police. And a traffic jam while uh, one of the trucks unloads. This is uh, the actual Amalfi Coast Road. Don't think there's going to be much to see from this point of view, except it's a very windy road.
do say in the summer it's just a one long procession of cars uh, very quiet today Very tight, windy road. Coming through another little town now. Not sure what this one's called, but very busy. Well, not busy, but uh, narrow. In 200 metres, your destination will be... Actually driving the Amalfi Coast is not particularly nice unless you're a passenger but the views that you get when you stop and have a look are quite spectacular and this is Amalfi the town it's all named after just look how clear the water is. Crystal. And we're just going to take a walk into the town. Uh, this building is the Duomo di Amalfi. So we're going to take a look inside the top of the staircase you're greeted by this on your way into the entrance once inside you actually come into this courtyard some of the original frescoes is it all white, which is strange for a cathedral. I think this is maybe how some of it was decorated that they've put on show. This small area is what's known as the chapel. Of Salvatore. Although Christ's head appears to have been removed. Strange. And this area is the chapel of the crucifixion. I think this dates back to the 15th century. This is the Basilica 
of the crucifixion. Some of these date back to, I think it's 1486. This is a sedan from the early part of the 18th century. This is a reliquary box which dates from the 18th century, oh sorry I apologise, 15th century, it's bleached ox bone and wood. The Basilica of the Crucifix gained its name from a crucifix that was once placed on the altar. this is a museum really now rather than it being used but there's still some fantastic decoration there's the organ this pipe organ dates from 1871 This is the uh, stairway, stairwell down into the crypt. Once at the bottom of the stairs, this is what you're greeted with. Wow. Final few steps in. Truly, truly stunning. This crypt is important because it's where the relics or remains of the first disciple, St Andrew, are kept. And as we go behind, there you can see the cross of St Andrew. And this leads us in to the cathedral itself. And again, 
as we've seen in lots of these churches, cathedrals, basilica, beautifully decorated. This highly decorated plinth is a support used for the statue of St. Andrew during processions. Here we have another nativity scene. If you notice that there's an important person missing, that's because it's only Christmas Eve. He isn't born yet. So I assume that ceremoniously a body would be placed there tomorrow. That is large work. This is a large basin of red Egyptian porphyry brought from the ancient Greek colony of Paestum and used as a baptismal font. St Andrew with his fish and the cross, first apostle, disciple. There's a fountain with a depiction of what is obviously St Andrew, but look at the water fountains below. <laughs> I'll specifically focus on this one in particular. This fountain was built during the 18th century in stone, two faces are in marble. The Cafe Ecuici derives its name from an old custom of when donkeys, which came down from the beat village of Pergarola, laden with fruit, vegetables, and wood, were led here to drink. Since 1974, the fountain has also been the centre point for the nativity scene. Weird. Uh, we just seem to be coming through a little town called Minori at the moment. Imagine driving this road in the summer when it's nose to tail and slow going that it's alright because you get to look at everything but in the winter time when there's not so many people about you seem to be moving at a quicker pace and therefore you don't see the same however like I said earlier passenger doors.
Adolphi of the town seem to be a lot busier than the other towns that we've been through on this coastline. These all seem to be quite quiet in comparison. It's been a long, windy road. I think it's approximately 30 miles, I think, and we're, we're not too far away now from the end, um, which is a town Salerno. called Salerno. Salerno. getting Salerno and Sorrento mixed up. So we started at Sorrento and we're now almost at Salerno. I think as we come round this bend you might be able to see the main town come into view. There's Salerno in the distance. And the end of the Amalfi Coast run. My thoughts, pleased we didn't come and do it on a motorbike or a scooter. Very windy roads. Italians need lesson, lessons in driving. Uh, very, very difficult to see things while you're driving and concentrating on what you're doing. Great for the passenger. In the summer, possibly better because I imagine you're in a procession of cars going quite slowly. So you get the opportunity to see everything that's going on. More accidents though. But pleased we've done it. Very pleased we've done it. <laughs>